What's up guys and welcome to part 2 of our Plex tutorial. So in this part we'll be seeing how we can watch our media and listen to our music from any device that has Plex. As long as you log into your account or if you're a friend of someone and he's sharing your account, his account with your account then you'll be able to watch it on whatever device that has Plex installed and believe me you can install Plex on a lot of devices so that won't be a problem. So first of all how do we make Plex accessible for any device? Let's first go to our media server we double click this icon again and where are we now? Well, you see your library with all the things that you've shared. Last time we added the music library. And let's say we want to share the music library. What well, what do we do then? We go to our servers. You'll see that once you built once you added a server, for example, music, you will get this icon and you can choose the server you, you want to be on. And let's go to the right top corner and press account and then you press your name which will be different for everyone and you have to log into your Plex account again because this is another section of the Plex site you sign in and it brings you to another part of Plex now where we want to go is to servers here at the top and once you click that you'll see what servers you are um, sharing and which ones are shared with me like in this case it's the iMac that I have at home and in the other case these are my servers so you can see my gaming laptop and my media server now we're connected to the gaming laptop so let's say we want to share that I don't know why but I think my media server just got offline doesn't matter let's share that music that we just added into our li library in in uh, part one of the Plex media server tutorial so you can see I'm sharing my entire library with uh, Rula and Dominic if you want to add someone and he has Plex you can either add him by using his email address or his Plex username so you just type it in and once that's done you'll get a square here with the name and what you're sharing and when you invited it and when he accepted it so important thing is the other person has to accept it in order to be able to view it so this is actually how to share it with friends so if I have a friend and he lives in another city and he says like, well, dude, can I see those uh, snowboard movies you made when you were on vacation? And I'll be like, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? I'll just put them in, put them in Plex and I'll share it with you. So that's how easy it is. You just write his name. He'll accept it. And if you don't want him to see everything, you can edit it and you can just click this one and you can just choose what 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 part of your server you want to share like let's say only the snowboard part because we have some f movies he we don't want to share with him because they're ah, I don't know and then you can just place um, put in save and it will just show what you want to show not everything so that's a really awesome feature now to make it available to everyone well I mean everyone you want to share it with you have to port forward it and how is that done well that can be really tricky but it can be really easy as well and I say really tricky but I'm gonna try and show you how the easy way is so what what do we do again we just go to our Plex media server and we go to media manager or we just double click it and it'll bring us back to this screen which we already know and if I press this settings button it'll bring me to my settings now I can go over these settings uh, in another tutorial because there's a lot 
a lot you can change you can add you can yeah it's it's crazy it's crazy and i'll make sure that i got my uh, settings in english instead of dutch because i'm sorry about that so what we have to do to make it accessible all over the world wherever you are you go to myplex and you have to be logged in now here it says myplex can't reach your server which is a problem I have yet to solve but it's not hard I just need to know some uh, details some passwords and login usernames which uh, I don't know at the moment but you should know it because it's really it's it's not here the internet here is not mine it's from my uh, landlord and she's uh, being kind of a pain in the ass about it but apart from that so the only thing you have to do is just press this button and it will try and connect with the server if it if it works you're you're perfect you're solid you're good if it doesn't work well then you'll have to manually try and get it to work you just open the advanced settings and you have to specify a port that you want to have open so in this case in plexus case it's always 32 400 you have this marked on and you try it again if it doesn't work it means this port is locked and to to fix that problem I'll put a link to a video how to port forward your router because it's your router that's blocking this port for your own safety but believe me it's not unsafe to have it open because <laughs> who nowadays still gets hacked um, I hope no one or I might get some bad comments but however however, blah, blah, however um, so that will open if you follow my tutorial that will open this port and if you then try it again you press this it will be green like this so that's how easy it is and um, that makes you ready to watch it wherever you want wherever in the world you are oh by the way another feature that I would like to show you well, I'll do that in the next tutorial um, I hope you enjoyed if if you learned something out of this tutorial if anything um, please like this video and subscribe it will help me out a lot and I really enjoy doing these so I hope you enjoy watching these and yeah see you guys next time bye bye